hey guys what's up this is manas and it's going to be level number three and let's kick off with problem number two and it goes like this a room is 4.8 meter by 4.2 meter by 4.6 meter high determine graphically the distance between top corner and bottom corner diagonally opposite to it right now we're going to see the pictorial representation of this uh, um, particular room and its corners uh, you can see this uh, room has dimensions 4.8 by 4.2 by 4.6 meter high now all these dimensions have been given to us in meters so what we're going to do is we're going to use um, a reducing scale for this we'll assume that one meter is equivalent to one centimeter so that all these dimensions can fit properly in a drawing sheet all right so let's start by drawing the front view of this room and this is what we're going to see right from the front okay you're going to see a room which is 4.8 meter broad and 4.6 meter high so let's start from this particular point over here okay so let's start with this this 4.8 then we'll go upstairs 4.6 meter then again back over here 4.8 and back to where we started so this is the front view of the room now let's go for the top view okay so this is what you see in the top fine now this dimension over here is what you call 4.2 and this over here is 4.8 guys now we are going to start from this point so 4.2 Again, this is going to be 4.8, 4.2 and back from where we started. Now, we are supposed to find the distance between the top corner and bottom corner diagonally opposite to it. So this is the top corner. If we suppose that this is the top corner, the diagonally opposite corner is this one, but the diagonally opposite corner at the bottom is this one. So this is the line or this is the length which we are supposed to determine okay so what is the true length between a and b this is supposed to be calculated now when you look at this object from the front a point appears somewhere here okay and as far as this 2d representation is concerned it should appear somewhere i'll show you where it's gonna lie here a dash fine and this b dash is going to lie somewhere here when you look at this from the front b dash is going to lie here okay and if you join a dash and b dash with the help of this line this line should appear as if it is this fine now similarly when you look at this whole room from the top okay so this is where a point is fine when you look at it from the top it should appear somewhere here <clears throat> similarly b point should appear somewhere here this is where b point shall lie point b that's it now let us again join this um, a and b with the help of a line fine now we have the front view of a dash b dash and we have the top view as a b now guys we have two different approaches for finding the true length between a and b now the first approach is to either to rotate the top view and make it parallel to x y there is one more approach which says that you can rotate the front view and make it parallel to x y so i'm going to go by approach of rotating the top view fine and for that i'll be taking this guy b as center and with a b as rate radius i'm going to rotate this until it becomes absolutely parallel to xy line okay please follow the steps so with b as center and ab as radius let us rotate this until it becomes absolutely parallel okay so this guys this over here guys is the new position of a let us say that this is a1 fine now this was the old position of a and its corresponding front view was over here that is a dash okay now a has changed its position to a1 and its corresponding new position will be somewhere here i'm going to show you how so this is exactly where its new position is that's it guys okay now i'm going to write over here simply a1 dash and when you join this a1 dash with b dash this is what you call the true length between A and B. And it is working out as, let us see how much it is, 78.69, fine. So this is working out as 78.69 millimeters. You can also say this is 7.869 centimeters. And on conversion to meters, you're gonna have this as 7.869 meters. So the true length is meters approx that's it so that's it guys this was problem number two 
I hope you like the video and if you have any doubts, write them down in the comment section below. So that was all from my side. This is Manas Patnaik signing off.